Hey everybody, it's Monica with Fit Eats Coach and today I'm back with a fun but challenging core workout. It's important that you prep for this workout with really good mobility exercises like arm windmills, torso rotations, other things you've seen on previous videos including deep lunge to hamstring stretch, maybe even some sprinting, squatting, lunging, jumping jacks. You really need to get your body warm for this because even though it's a core workout, it's going to also work your entire body. Now, if you don't have the gear that you see featured in this workout video, you can always adapt that to what you have. And I will share all about that during the workout. This workout can take anywhere between five and 15 minutes. My preferred length is 10 minutes, and that's what I featured in this video. It's really fun, but it's also intense. So it can be a solo workout that you repeat up to five times, or you can just do this after your full body workout after cardio or after other activities and sports that you play. All right, let's get started. We're starting out our first round of exercises with an alternating reverse lunge twist. I happen to be using a water filled tank. It has eight pounds of water in there. And if you don't have very good core stability or glute strength, then you probably want to start out with a medicine ball or a light dumbbell and then progress into using water because water is pretty dynamic and it does kind of shake you around a lot. So if you decide to use a tidal tank or you want to get a rope, all this stuff is available on Amazon. I'll share my links in the description box below. All right, so next up we have the rolling ropes matador into a lunge hop and, or a lunge jump. You wanna start with your figure eights on each side, alternating from side to side. And once you pick up that rhythm and start to feel really comfortable with it, then add the hop and then add the jump into the lunge. Now, any kind of rolling ropes pattern is going to work. So if you're just getting started with this, you know, maybe you just wanna focus on doing some figure eights. All these things are gonna work your core, your back, arms, shoulders, and then you can start adding in the lower body movement as you get more coordination with the upper body. I finally decided to splurge on this $70 rope, but the rope I was using before uh, was a $6 rope from the hardware store. The main difference is that this rope is a little bit lighter and so it's gonna allow you to work with these patterns for longer periods of time without getting fatigued. So next up, we have the alternating sit through with a bent leg hip extension. You don't have to add that last part, but it's actually quite fun and it makes the exercise a little bit more challenging. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite dynamic core moves that I've been including in videos for the past 10 years. This type of movement is getting a lot of attention lately on social media, but it's been around for a long time. And if you need to get better at it, there are other videos that I filmed that explain more detail how to get into these types of movements. I will link them in the description box below. Right, next up is a slightly more challenging move, which is an alternating side plank knee in. This exercise requires a lot of core stability, so really pulling that belly button to the spine, as I say a lot in my videos, and keeping your lower body close to the mat. So put your hands on the mat and then use the side of that mat as a guide to kind of slide that leg along the edge and keeping the knees pretty close. So if you don't get too far away from your mat, you'll be able to stay more balanced. Now, if you have shoulder issues, then I would recommend doing a different type of rotational plank movement. And of course, if doing two plank-based core moves back to back like this is too much, you can always go back to doing a little bit of rope and then maybe put that in between your core moves or maybe just skip one of the core moves if it's too much for you and then come back to it at a later time.
Okay, finally, we have the slow paced bicycle with some rotation. And we're using, again, this water filled tank, but you can use a medicine ball or a light dumbbell. The main thing here is to move very slowly and fully extend that bottom leg. The bicycle is probably one of those core exercises that you see so many people just butchering because they're not fully extending the leg. They're just wiggling around like crazy and really not using those deep abdominal muscles. So if you slow it down and you add some instability with some water, that's going to make a huge difference. This exercise is amazing for learning coordination of your core and really learning to activate those deep core muscles. All right, we're done with our first round. You can take a little break and then you can just start it up again. All right, so for the second round, I'm just going to share a couple of things and then just let the workout run on its own till it ends. I wanted to share that we're giving away a free guide to help you get your leanest, fittest body. Um, it's over on the blog. I'll link to it in the description box. And also I wanted to share that if you kind of lose track of your intervals because you don't have an interval timer, maybe your interval timer is a distraction to you, maybe you lost count of your reps and you're kind of like standing there trying to figure out what to do, um, it's really not a big deal. Try to keep going, try to keep moving. You're gonna have moments in your workout where you're gonna feel like you don't know what you're doing and that's totally fine. Um, and this happens to you whether you're a total beginner or if, whether you've been working out for you know 30 something years like I have. Um, you're gonna know eventually when it's time to stop an exercise, when you can keep going. Your body's gonna tell you when it's time to move on. And if you listen to your body and kind of go by instinct, it's gonna be more of a freestyle workout and you're gonna end up doing the length of workout that is right for you and not just something that was prescribed to you by somebody else because it worked for them or because that's what they said. Um, it's really important to begin to really listen to what your body wants um, so that you can like learn from your own body how you're supposed to train for your best fitness results. It, it isn't just about following plans blindly. It's about really learning your body and how your body works and then working your body to its maximum potential. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this workout. Please subscribe follow, like, leave us a comment. We'll be back soon with more exercises and tips to help you get your fittest, leanest body. Thanks for watching.